The get merge command is used to, as I have on the screen, merge code from two different sources. Let me show you what I mean. On GitHub, I have a demonstration with many commits, and this branch is one commit ahead of my local branch. So if I go onto GitHub, you can see that I have a file here called demo.txt, and it says added changes from github.com. If I go onto my computer and I open up demo.txt, you could see that that line of text, added changes from github.com, is not in that file. So we're gonna use get merge uh, along with fetch to fix that problem. Now this is the more complicated of the two approaches, but it involves a really important command, the get merge command, which we will continue to explore throughout this series. So the first thing that I want to do is run a fetch command, which is exactly what it sounds like, and that will sync up my um, local repository, yet if you look here, um, you know, we now have the um, we now have the the fetch command executed, but the demo.txt has not been changed. Uh, in fact, if we go to source control, um, it should be aware that there's an incoming change from origin master. And so uh, again, it does see an incoming change, but that change has not been applied. Uh, the command then, as you can see, there's an incoming change from the origin master branch. Uh, so we need to merge, get merge, origin slash master. And now you can see it does a fast forward merge. So that is the type of merge that is going to apply the commit that is uh, time and date stamp most recent. And so fast forward merge applies the most recent changes. And if we go back into our demo.txt, we can now see our added changes from github.com.